Let's go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the sequel trilogy, currently being directed by J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, at the very end of The Last Jedi, we witnessed the death of Luke Skywalker as he disappeared into the sunset of Ahch 2 and became one with the Force. Now, looking at Episode 9, a lot of people have been talking about the resurrection of Luke Skywalker and how it could actually work in this movie, and I actually thought of one big way, one shocking way, that they could bring Luke Skywalker back in a very special way that would actually please a lot of Star Wars fans out there. Now, last week we went over how the Wills could most definitely play a certain role in Episode 9 in bringing Luke Skywalker back. Now, yes, I know that J.J. Abrams told Mark Hamill, no, you're dead, get used to it all. But for all we know, there's still a chance that J.J. could very well be lying, just how he did with Star Trek and Khan. But looking at episode 9 guys, I will say that they should definitely pull the Chosen One card. Now, using the Chosen One for Luke Skywalker I think is the best way to bring Luke Skywalker back into episode 9. I would like a scenario where in the movie, he goes into the netherworld of the Force and it's not his time just yet. And because he's the Chosen One, he has to go back to the living world, right? and helps out his friends and family in order to fight the big fight against the First Order and quite possibly even the return of Snoke. Now, the other way that they could very well bring him back is that maybe he wasn't dead at all. They could definitely pull the card where maybe his mechanical hand was a little hint in Episode 9 that he was actually going to live. So in The Last Jedi, we didn't see his mechanical hand disappear or vanish. We do know that Ryan Johnson admitted apparently that that was a mistake in the movie that they realized after they made the movie. And I kind of find it funny because they could always use that as a way, as a little bit of leverage, right? In order to bring Luke Skywalker back, maybe he teleported to another location, maybe he went over to Tatooine. And what we saw, you know, the robes falling, it wasn't all of his clothing. Maybe, you know, as Luke Skywalker goes back to Tatooine or whatever planet it may be by teleportation, he still has the regular clothes on, just the overall robe fell on the on the actual rock itself. Now, yes, I do know that in The Last Jedi novelization, it goes over the caretakers picking up his gloves and boots, indicating that he is in de indeed dead for good, right then and there. But there are always ways that, you know, in films, they, they could always retcon these different things and kind of make things work. But like I say, I think that the biggest way that they could do the resurrection of Luke Skywalker is definitely by using him as the Chosen One. I mean, even in Star Wars Rebels Season 4, I believe it was, they actually had Obi-Wan Kenobi All right, go over that, how Luke is indeed the Chosen One. And Darth Maul even said just before he's, his death, you know, he will avenge us. So I would love for them to use that card in Episode 9 of essentially that he is the Chosen One and that him being in the, in the netherworld of the Force is only temporary and that when, you know, a big event needs him or some kind of threat needs Luke Skywalker, he could come back at least temporarily. He could come back for some time, but ultimately he would have to go back to the netherworld. So I would like something like that. If they could somehow make it reasonable, where maybe Luke can come back, but only temporarily, only for the actual movie, and then die in a more, I guess you could say, respectful way. To me, I feel like that him dying by use of force projection, a lot of people are kind of calling it overdosing on the force or something like that. A lot of people were kind of making jokes about it. And I can see people's views on that because Luke Skywalker pulled that power off in the EU and Legends in Dark Empire. He was able to create a double of himself without even getting harmed or even dying at that. He was actually, you know, able to do that flawlessly and move on with his life. That's how I would have loved to see it in Star Wars The Last Jedi where he's able to pull off that stunt and actually live right through it and then maybe he goes up against Kylo Ren and you know then they could have taken things from there into episode 9. 
So the resurrection of Luke Skywalker, I know it's a long shot for episode 9, it may be reaching to a lot of you guys out there, but I think that there are, there are, there's always a chance to change things up. After all, look at Rogue One, a Star Wars story, we do know that the reshoots, alright, at last minute, gave them the idea to bring in Darth Vader's slaughter scene. So you could always do this last minute, we have a lot of time until post-production ends for episode 9. But anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you also very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.